Welcome back to Game Set Bet. I'm Sarah Peraria, joined by Karina Mustafa. And breaking news: Rafa has pulled out of Wimbledon. We literally just found this out、um, five minutes ago, and it hasn't even, you know, been fully reported. We actually saw it on Twitter. Karina saw it on Twitter.、Um, devastated is an <laughs> understatement. I don't know. I. I I, we we had a feeling we were talking about this off air. You know, he, he you could tell in his match yesterday against Fritz that he was、uh, definitely feeling it.、Mm-hmm. And then I read later that it was a tear in his abdomen. Obviously, imagine playing with that like must be so brutal. But he said he was going to come out and play anyways in the semifinal against Kyrgios. So you know, like the drive was there. But I I'm assuming like he had doctors look over and was like, listen, you don't want to do this. Like it must it must be bad. Like to the point where they're. Probably telling him. Yeah, I know. You and I were actually like pondering whether or not he would play, but then、mm-hmm. kind of retire in the middle of his match if it was getting to be too much. So it looked like it was going to be confirmed for a while there that they were going to play, but、yeah. you know, literally five minutes ago we got a report、mm-hmm. saying that he decided to pull out. So yeah, it is unfortunate. Kyrgios is through the final. We'll see who、uh, is going to join him tomorrow when we talk or Friday when we talk about.、Uh, The men's semifinals, but yeah, it's very sad because I was hoping Rafa would get the calendar slam this year. Yeah, exactly. Just with like winning Roland Garros at his age, kind of coming back. You know, U.S. Open is a month and a half and away. Like it could, I don't know. My hopes now are just that he he's healthy for the U.S. Open and he's、mm-hmm. back being a hundred percent. You know, I know hard surface is is Novak's domain, but you know, at this point, the way he was playing in Wimbledon. Anything can happen. So sending sending our thoughts to Rafa and hoping for a quick recovery. But on to the WTA. More sad news for us. <laughs> We both lost today. We really did. We both lost today. It's it, it's been a tough day for Karina and I. Um, Simona Halep has lost to Rubikina in straight sets, six three to six three. This was a tough match to watch. Not only, of course, because you are a Romanian, you're a Halep fan, myself as well, but she just did not have a good day today. No, she didn't. And I think the biggest thing that stood out to me was her serve. Halep serve just completely lost it today. She had nine double faults, all of which were in that second set.、Mm-hmm. So the first set, even though her serve percentage was bad, she wasn't double faulting like the way she did.、Um, she only made fifty-two percent of her first serves, which is a major decrease from her percentage throughout the Wimbledon before this match. And so that really hurt her today because she would break Rubikina sometimes to kind of get the break back, but then she wouldn't be able to hold her own serve,、mm-hmm. and that was a huge, huge problem. Rubikina just overpowered her today. It was very obvious that you had six feet versus five <laughs> feet and six. I don't think I've ever seen a tennis match where I've noted noticed such a difference. Like in the in the height, because even just watching it, you could see she was so much bigger and taller. Her reach was like double Halep's. And when we were watching, we were talking about how you kept trying to <laughs> through the TV tell Halep to go for her、uh, backhand because it was at le- it was at least challenging her a bit. But Halep couldn't even get there half the time. Like Rubikina was sending her all over the court, and like credit to her though, because she she. Powered through that match, like that was some incredible tennis.、Um, but yeah, it was just an unfortunate day for Halep. I think、yeah. she she got to she has to dust herself off and just focus focus on the future. Yeah, she had a really successful gra- grass season. I think、yeah. compared to last year where she was injured and she missed Wimbledon. I think、mm-hmm. this is this year is going to be a win for her overall,、yeah. even though she lost in the semifinals. And the, with the way Rubikina has been playing, especially in this match. I think she's going to make life very hard for Jabor, who she is going to face in the final on Saturday. Jabor did go through, and she defeated Maria this morning in three sets. Yeah, six set two. Then she lost the second one, six three,、mm-hmm. and ended up winning six one, getting things back on yeah, track. Yeah, but, kind of <laughs> but that three setter makes me a little bit nervous for her chances against Rubikina. Yeah, you know what? After watching the match today with. Halep and Rubikina, and seeing the way Rubikina played, we were very confident that it was going to be on Jabir and Halep. And Jabir did go through, but there's definitely like I am not as confident in her now after watching that match. But I do think this will be one of the most powerful finals、oh, yeah. between the two of them. They are both 
solid these two women so i think it's going to be it's going to be incredible and we actually kareen and i are staying away from the winner in this one <laughs> it's a final you don't know what's going to happen so we're going to go for three sets at plus 125. i think it will go to three sets i don't i can't see either one of them managing to you know pull two sets out of this and especially with the final there's a lot more riding on it as unless like somebody has a really bad day but i mean with the two of them and the form they've been in yeah you can't see it happening so totally agree do you have a do you have a favorite now that halep is out to you are you leaning to one side you see if i lean towards rubikina i'd be good because then halep lost for a good reason because yeah. she lost to the champion but then at the same time i don't really think anything is going to make me feel better about whoever yeah, wins absolutely um but it's also a really special occasion for on mm -hmm. because she's the first arab woman to make it this far at a grand slam she was saying in her post-match interview she said i'm a proud tunisian standing here uh knowing that today um, um, they're in Tunisia, they're just going crazy right now. She's yeah. talking about she really wants to see more representation from Arab women, from African women on the tour. And so it's really nice. I think she's got a really big like crowd and support behind her. So it's really nice to see it be this meaningful for her. Yeah, no, I completely agree. I think with tennis as well, like it's such a kind of particular sport. You have a lot of like the Eastern European countries mm -hmm. who it's kind of like their, you know, national sport or whatever. But it's not wherever tennis isn't popular, I feel like it's not popular at all. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to, like, rack my brain now and I'm thinking, like, what African players play tennis? Like, what African... You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, so I think it's great that, yeah, she's at least showing face, representing, and then hopefully also maybe inspiring, like, the next generation, you know? Maybe there's some, some 100%. younger females in Africa or Tunisia even alone that are going to go, hey, I could, I could do that. I want to be like Hans Jabeur. Exactly. <laughs> so we'll see. But the final is set. It will be on Saturday, not Sunday, sorry. Hans <laughs> Jabeur against Elena Rubikina. And we are going for three sets at plus 125. Karina and I will be back tomorrow to discuss the men's semifinals and see who's going to go face Kyrgios on Sunday at Wimbledon.